So, what I got for you guys today is are you purpose driven or are you pleasure driven? Really ask yourself that question. Are you purpose driven or are you pleasure, pleasure driven? Are you motivated by instant gratification? Or are you motivated by a quick fix? Or are you motivated by pleasure? Or are you driven or are you motivated or are you inspired? That's a better way of putting it by purpose and understanding your purpose and also knowing that your purpose, the road to that purpose isn't going to be the most glamorous. It's not going to always be what you want to do or what you need to do. So I feel we need to get more purpose driven instead of pleasure driven. I think we are falling. I mean, I think I know we're relying too much on pleasure, pleasure driven, pleasure driven, pleasure driven. And once you get used to that pleasure, once you get used to that quick fix, then you're trying to find another one and another one, another one, as opposed to when you're on your, your purpose and you're doing things that are aligned with your purpose, you don't veer off. You're inspired and you're motivated by, you know, this is bigger than yourself. I was 100 percent back in the day focused on pleasure driven. Even like when my mom died, I was pleasure driven because I was using that as a band-aid to mask the pain. So I would just constantly, I just wanted to either forget or I was just doing things that was just instant gratification because I was just trying to mask the pain as much as possible, right? But as I started to really dive deep and start to really understand and get on my purpose and find my purpose, I became more purpose driven and became purpose driven and realized the goal and the motivation and the inspiration is staying on your purpose. The gym is purpose driven. The gym isn't for necessarily pleasure, right? The gym is for, I know I need to do these things that's gonna keep me in line with the goal. I know I need to build myself up mentally and physically because that's gonna help me stay on my purpose. And when you look at it like that, then you realize, hey, the, the getting up early or the thing that you may not want to do, it starts to become very shallow and it's like you don't really think about it, you don't care about it because you know the purpose is that much bigger. So that's what I was saying. Are you purpose driven or are you pleasure driven? So everything that I'm doing, it has to be purpose driven. If it's, if it's not in alignment with purpose, if it's not in alignment with the higher goal, then I don't want to have anything to do with it. So I started eliminating a lot of the fat. Just like how we try to eliminate the fat off our body. I start eliminating things that's not serving this purpose. I start eliminating things that has nothing to do with what we're trying to get done, our accomplishments. Like I said before, I know the early wake of time. I know the constant grind. I know, and when I say the constant grind, never, never getting too comfortable and never resting on previous accomplishments. We have to keep moving forward, right? Because you can grind and get absolutely nowhere. You know, you gotta grind smart. I do wanna say that you have to grind with a vision in mind. You have to have tunnel vision with the grind. You can't just grind to say you're grinding because I know plenty of people are doing that and getting absolutely nowhere because they're not, they're not focused. So I look at all of these things and I had to even put it a mirror in front of my face. You know, we do the self audit and say, is this in alignment with the purpose? And if it's not, then it has to go. I can't deal with it, right? The gym, there's a misconception that I'm in this gym because of quick gratification, because of the look. And on the surface level, yes, right? You know, you work out, you put in the work, obviously the reward is the look. You put your time in jujitsu, you're gonna move up in rank, you're gonna get better, you're gonna get the belts. But more importantly, it's about what am I gaining from this on a deeper level? What is this helping me with? What is this training me for? What is this helping me build? And it has nothing to do with muscle. All this muscle is, or this look from the exterior, is just a representation of work that I'm willing to put in, the sacrifice that I'm willing to put in for however long I need to do it. But in the reality, we, but in the reality, it is meant for 
the diligence, the commitment, all those things that people don't see. That's what this is for.